How many times have you done this before? Zero. Zero. This is our first time. And you've done this before. I have not done this before. You've not personally done, done this before. I've done a lot of research. Okay. Did you see what it looked like when it went in there? That's what it's supposed to do. That's fantastic. There's more than 75 pounds of meat in front of me and I can't put it in my stomach. <laughs> you wouldn't put it all once uh, If you guys are wondering where the eggs come from. They come from chickens. <laughs> You know what doesn't get old is the stories and the people's interest and intrigue and excitement. This is definitely where we were after whole grain diet and waiting until they were big enough. Yeah, odd job training is so much better on people who've done it. And it's a little bit more pleasant than <laughs> One thing to watch everything on YouTube, but there's another thing to actually do it. All right, guys, let's take a moment and just give thanks, and then, and then we'll, uh, breakfast burritos. Yeah, Sorry. breakfast burritos are available all morning, all day. Father, thank you for the time that we can share together. Thank you for everything that you provide to us. Help us always honor you, everything that we do in every way that we do it. We love each other and always appreciate the things that you have provided for us. Thank you for these chickens and the knowledge of how to process them. May we always be listening for your voice, change directions, and have your call. them until they settle down. Yeah, about five pounds close. Okay. This is a Yardbird model 21833 chicken plucker, poultry plucker, and we are going to put it together. Total time about 50 minutes. Let's plug it in and see if it actually turns on. Good sign. Let's start. We've used one very similar in the past. And we're very impressed. We'll give it a review when we're done using our very, very own for the first time. Take care. Be encouraged. This stuff is fun. You can do it. We are a few birds in, and some of them have been six, seven pounds. We're gonna just weigh one to show you. This is the one you weigh. Let's see what you weigh. Yeah, seven, seven pounds. pounds. All right. Okay. If you if you hold them upside down. After a few seconds, they'll relax. I don't know if that's because the blood flows to the brain or something like that. But they kind of relax and then get them in there. Show you what the scalder and then the plucker is going to do. 
We have this between 145 and 152 degrees with a little bit of soap, just a few drops of soap. The skin starts to peel off the legs. The feathers come out easily. Okay. And this is amazing. Best part of the whole thing. Right here, ready? Go ahead and... Okay, did you see what it looked like when it went in there? That's what it's supposed to do. That's fantastic. That was 50, 20 seconds, maybe 15 seconds. Fantastic. Can I just feel it? You want a bird? Yep, I do. Okay. That bird, this Amazon, is a start to finish bird. So don't mess up in the background. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Oh, that was the one that fell in the dirt. Oh. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the dirt one. So, what do you do when you're done processing 40 plus chickens? You go get more chicks. Ours arrived at the post office, and so we're headed off to do that. Hope you've enjoyed the day. So I am on my way to get batch number five of the meat chicks for this year. Yeah, batch number five. We've been getting batches of about 50, and I admit that the, the excitement, it wears off a little bit. If you're wondering what that's like, uh, it's like that. It wears off a little bit. We've been doing well and experimenting with different ways to raise them, and how big they are and how long it takes and all that kind of thing, all that kind of thing. But we think we're getting better at it. And so the encouragement to you is keep going, keep doing it. If you've already done a batch or two and you think you can't do any more and you've processed all you can for the year, try it again. Try different hatcheries. This is our fourth different hatchery, third different hatchery since we started this thing and we're continuing to see what might work best be encouraged have fun with it keep going you can do it just pick them up the chicks this version is from this version is from whelp hatchery it's a whelp hatchery w-e-l-p and we'll see how they turn out you know what doesn't get old is the stories and the people's interest and intrigue and excitement. There was a lady in the post office at the same time today that said, they ship those? They ship those in the mail? Yes. So we took a look, showed them the little chickens. So maybe some of you have seen what we do before, but maybe some of you are still wondering. We get them, and they come in the mail, and they're in here. All these cute little yellow chicks. And we give them their water, we show them where their water is, and they're pretty much good to go. They have food. They can survive the first three days on the yolk from the egg when they're hatched. That's why they can send us day-old chicks, because they, they can ship them the evening or the next morning, whatever, whatever it is, the day that they're hatched. That's why they call them day-old chicks. And then they can survive for up to three days on the yolk that they had um, inside the shell, which is pretty amazing of itself. But then we take them and we, we show them where the water is, kind of like this. Alright, say hello to chick number one. And take them, show them where the water is. And for 
from there on out, they know where it is and they show the others. And we count them as we take them out. And this also has apple cider vinegar, about a tablespoon per gallon of apple cider vinegar in the water, which is supposed to be healthy for them and keeps them free of diseases. 55 of them about for this batch. And this is also what happens sometimes. You know, they, they die in transit. Um, this was one out of 55. I think there's only been once in the last several batches that we didn't have any that were dead. Uh, so that's fairly normal, but to have as many. So they sent us, we ordered 55, and I think we counted 58. So plus one would be 59. And that's pretty normal. Not all hatcheries do that, but it looks like Welp Hatchery does send a few extras because they know that these, these chicks die sometimes. But they'll scurry around for a while as long as they find the water and are able to teach the others where the water is. That's the most important thing. They do have some heat heat lamps, but that's another nice thing about being in the summertime is that we'll only use that for about a week just to make sure that they've got enough heat. Yeah, but it gets pretty hot in here. Maybe two weeks. We'll see. Be encouraged and know that you can do this. It's not, it's not hard. It takes some attention and some time and some effort and a little bit of knowledge, a little bit of understanding. But you can do it. You can do it. Take care. Hey, Miss Carhartt. How's oh, it going? Oh gosh, hi. <laughs> so we have some friends with us today. Huh? Miss Melanie <laughs> and a few of the others. So you're butchering some of your own egg-laying hens that are a couple of years old, right? Yep. How many times have you done this before? Zero. Zero. This is our first time. Well, first time. we're the egg layers. I've helped other friends, but oh, not coming up. Oh. with meat chickens. Hey, with meat yolk. chickens, but not with. But not egg layers. I got um, a yolk. <laughs> oh, <laughs> we haven't done it either. So, what are you finding? <laughs> so when we are gutting them, we're finding whole eggs. I found this one. Do those have hard shells? Yeah, this yes. has a hard, a hard oh, shell. Goodness. And then it had these little yolks in there. That was all one chicken. That was all one chicken. And then Whoa. Molly has found these yolks in hers. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six eggs in process? Yeah. In one chicken, seven yep. maybe? Right. Yeah, there might oh, have man, been one like that I'm I broke in something. here, I don't know. Well, and then Toby found eggs. this Good. one. Have you found any yolks yet? I found that yolk. Oh, to this is Toby's yolk. I tried wow. to keep them together. <laughs> so, if you guys are wondering where the eggs come from. <laughs> they come from chickens. <laughs> <laughs> Neato. Yeah, really fun. This is more like what our early batches looked like. Much smaller, about three pounds, a little bit less. And this is, I hope we're getting better at this because it sure looks like it. This is about five pounds and this is what we were after to begin with. These guys have been raised on whole grain diets and whole grain feed and maybe eight to 10 weeks, depending on our schedules and how they're growing. So we just decided, hey, we're gonna wait. Um, these guys, you know, we waited, but obviously it wasn't as big. So three pound chicken, five pound chicken. This is definitely what we were after, whole grain diet and waiting until they were big enough. Looks good to me. Happy eating. Welcome back to the Genuine Homestead here in Northern Colorado. It is about 6 a.m. on a late August summer day and we're gonna have one of our last chicken processing days of this year and it's gonna be a beautiful day. I'll have to take care of the morning chores, feeding the pigs and the chickens, and then getting ready for the chicken processing. See you around. Ooh. 
Good morning folks, welcome back to the Genuine Homestead. And it's a late September day in Northern Colorado. And it's our last big chicken processing day for this year. It's gonna be a good one. See you around. The pigs are happily eating away. Beautiful. So we've gotten things started. Yep. We've gotten things started. The other line. Okay. And uh, so there's a little bit at the top still. Yep. But mostly you can see that like all that's cleared out. Yeah. And, to go. and then after you do that, we throw it in that one. Okay. And then oh no, we no we don't. We give it to him to rinse. He's our washer, and then we throw it in there. Okay. Sorry. Here's our friend Kiona. <laughs> Hello, good morning. What are you doing here, Kiona? I am here to help my friends. Butcher them. We are we are said friends. <laughs> the butcher their meat birds and be of some help, have some fun, and get some education. And you've done this before. I have not done this before. You've not personally done, done this before. I've done a lot of research. YouTube ain't it, but I but when you, were, when you were younger, you were around it a lot. I was not. My dad was, and so my dad was learned in the country of Western or Southern Maryland, and then I heard from him once my dad had cancer, and I learned that he needed to eat better and not eat meat from the store. I started doing the polyface yeah. and learning and YouTubing. I got his books. I went to his farm, and yeah. like, yeah, let me grow more better nutrient-rich food. Mm. So that's my goal. Good. And next year, hopefully, I'll be where you are. <laughs> yes. Yes. Thanks for your help today. Yeah. Whoa, Kiana. <laughs> this is called good eating right here. So how's it been today? Fun. You, you kind of look like a pro. It is, it is not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's mm. not as gory and bloody. It is setting up for um, winter in a way that you see where your food comes from. Is that what you would say to another first timer or would you have different do words? Do it. I'd say do it. You won't know until you do it. On and it's not as training. bad. Yeah, odd job training is so much better from people who've done it. And it's a little bit more pleasant. <laughs> mm. <laughs> you know, it's one thing to watch everything on YouTube, but there's another thing to actually do it. So Get your hands in it. Yep. So. Nice. Looking good. How's the day been so far? Um, mostly good. We're a little disorganized today, but yeah, we still got it done. We're doing. We're on schedule for it being done. Yeah. By lunch. Yeah. Lunch time. Toby. Yeah. Thoughts? How's it look over there? There's more than 75 pounds of meat in front of me, and I can't put it in my stomach. <laughs> you wouldn't want to do it all at once, anyway. Uh, He's hungry. <laughs> Yeah, we need to get those in ice. They've been sitting out there for a while. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, Kiona. Kiona did it again. We appreciate your help. Great job today. I'm glad I could be of help. Me too.